This is a ram's horn snail. And this is the same ram's horn snail 70 days later. His name's Percy. In the last experiment, I supported my hypothesis that ram's horn snails cannot self-clone by keeping Percy alone in a cup from birth for 45 days. And he didn't self-clone. But the experiment had some problems. Many of you pointed out that only one snail was isolated, which hurt the experiment's generalizability. Furthermore, cramped quarters combined with poor oxygen may have contributed to Percy's apparent celibacy, not his inability to reproduce asexually. It has now been 115 days since this experiment started, and I've been listening to your suggestions in the comments. Although my wife prevented me from filling this tank with snail cups, I asked you, fellow fish keepers, to replicate this experiment so that we could improve its generalizability. So please, leave your findings in the comments. After the first video, I moved a pair of control group snails to a cup to see if they could breed in the same conditions as Percy. Their names are Cobalt and Pantera, and they ended up breeding at less than two months old. Now I know that Ramshorn snails can breed in a cramped cup with no water movement, and Percy proves that they can reach adult size in there as well. In fact, Percy's shell is a lot healthier than the snails that are in the tank. The weird thing is, Percy actually did reproduce recently, but not in the way that you think. You see, I thought I was testing for parthenogenesis, which is when a female independently turns an egg into offspring, but I was actually testing for asexual reproduction in a hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodites are animals that are not male or female. They have both sex organs, meaning that they can potentially combine their own sperm with their own egg in order to reproduce. It seems like Percy did reproduce in this way, but the egg cases look like this. Unlike every other ram's horn snail that I have ever worked with, Percy produced eggs that are 99%, if not completely, slime. No eggs here, well, except for that one. Meanwhile, only 70 days in, the smaller cobalt and pantera have produced dozens of eggs. Technically, this experiment failed to support my hypothesis that a lone virgin ram's horn snail can't reproduce. But it does suggest that when these ram's horn snails are kept alone, they have a much lower fertility rate. I'm going to keep this experiment running, just to see what happens next and if these egg cases continue to be mostly empty. But in the meantime, I want to know your theories on why this is happening with Percy. While you're waiting for that update, please check out the excellent videography, teaching, and narration on my favorite YouTube channel, The Dave. He recently released a video on ram's horn snails, and he also has documentaries on many other aquatic species. So tell him I said hey, and I'll see you guys next Sunday.